Oh, here we go. It's Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I forget to be one. This may be the third one, second one. I don't know. But I'm doing my Sunday sermon. And what this is about, it, it's from, um, I realized that uh, I study, uh, I'm an acolyte. Oh, the brother used a big word. I don't know what it means. That's how I do, but it means something. Anyway, the, uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And, uh, and what I've decided to do is every Sunday, I take a, because I, I use Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, book, his, uh, I guess you would call it a, a textbook workbook uh, for thought, speech, and or action, you know, for victims of racism, which is white supremacy. Uh, anyway, this is a re we're, we're Right now we're reading out of the uh, uh, 2016 revised expanded edition of the uh, compensatory concept, as it's called, United Independent Compensatory Co-System Concept. That's the book that we're reading from. Uh, it's, a it's a compensatory uh, counter-racist code. It's by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And this is, the, like I said, this is the 2016 edition. I actually have the, um, the uh, 1984 edition. It's rebound. And then I got it rebound at Lovedale Press, which is the revolutionary press um, f from the from the uh, ANC, from all the days of apartheid, you know, South African uh, liberation struggle. Uh, but I can't use that because it's down in South Africa. So when I get there, then I'll be reading out of that. But which is the book. I like that edition the best for various reasons, uh, including the format. Uh, but we have to do this one right now. So last week, in fact, let's start from last week. This is what I was reading last week. Uh uh, under this section here. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not the one. Oh, boy. Oh, here it is. Last week, I started here with this uh, area three. There, there are, he, he's, uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says, there are uh, nine areas of um, human activity. And, uh, and, and, and well, listing in, listing in alphabetical order, they would be, uh, area one would be economics. Then you have education, entertainment, um, then the labor, law, uh, politics, right, religion, sex, and uh, war, counter war. Right, those are the nine areas. So the area that I'm reading out, that I read out of last week, area three, entertainment, I had this thing. Uh, uh, if you are experiencing so much luxury and much comfort and having lots of fun within the system of white supremacy, which is racism, um, do not allow such experiences to interfere with and or take the place of you uh, thinking, speaking, and or acting with the intention of ending white supremacy, which is racism again, and replacing it with justice, which is the balance between pe people, as it says in the, um, in the brackets here. And then I, I, talked, I, I talked a little bit about that. But I didn't go, there's a, there's a thing I think it's called explanation, his explanation, then the question that you can ask after that. So let me go through that, to complete the thing right there. Um, his explanation reads as such, the system of white supremacy is uh, the greatest and most powerful expression of injustice among the people of the known universe, right? As the smartest and most powerful people, the white supremacists, know how to practice injustice in such a manner as to provide uh, some of their victims, some of their victims, their, their victims are classified as non-white um, uh, people, uh, with, uh, with, with much luxury and comfort and fun, right? Experiences of luxury, comfort, and, and, and fun within the system of white supremacy uh, um, is no reason or and is no excuse for not thinking, speaking, acting, to end white supremacy. Is that self-explanatory? Well, let me, well, let me, get this last thing right here. As long as white supremacy exists, all luxury, comfort, fun, entertainment, thrills, parties, and or relaxation should be for the direct or indirect purpose of ending white supremacy and replacing it with justice. <coughs> I'll let that wash over you. Um, so that's his, that's his explanation. I would nobody goes further into that. But so basically, he's not saying that you shouldn't have fun. He said, "Oh, you have fun, all right, but your fun should be servicing, <laughs> should be servicing your own liberation. Your, your, it should be servicing uh, 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 the purpose of of getting rid of white supremacy. You can't be, you can have that luxury, but then if you if you, you you're taking that luxury to enjoy the white supremacy, it also comes along with it. Then 
it's a little off. That's my interpretation, okay? Um, then he has uh, this last thing before he gets to another thing. He has a question. Uh, the question, is it correct for non-white people to dance? If so, for what? And this is a little subset of that. Okay, so, so you may answer, well, okay, let's leave all the, the other entertainment. How about dancing? Can, can I dance? Can I at least dance? Well, what's, what's going on? Okay. And his answer, do not dance. This is a dances in quotes, right? Or participate in so-called group dancing unless, right, all of the persons participating have the collective understanding of what the dancing is designed to produce in regards uh, to the result. Do not participate in group dancing except for the following reasons. <coughs> so you can dance, but if you do, you have to have this for the following reasons. One, dance to exercise the body and mind for improved health. Okay, you can dance if you just you exercise, which I do every day. You know, I got the music in my ears. I, I play dance, walking. You know, so so it's helping help my mind, you know, movement, body. You know, more strength, whatever it is, right? Um, <coughs> Uh, point two, uh, well, bullet, bullet two, uh, to uh, to tell a constructive story with a constructive lesson. This is interesting. How do you say this? Okay, it's interesting because um, I have a background in, in theater and, and stuff like that. And for a long time, I, I uh, well, you know, for a long enough time, I stage managed dancers, and I stage managed well, I stage managed, but uh, well, I stage managed dancers or dancing troops and like that, off Broadway and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the things. Uh, that I did it was I took dance class so I can understand the mentality of dancers because dancers have a whole whole other mentality they just I mean they're wild right um so so uh so basically uh, my my conclusion is my well what I what I really got from that dance is another form of expression so you can you you can you can basically uh have a dance of liberation you know um so if you if you have a dance of liberation then that would be considered, I mean, that would be considered dance, but you'd be dancing for with a purpose like that. And last bullet point, to help promote constructive communications between male and females prior to any act of sexual intercourse. I know that's sort of thrown in there, you know what I mean? So I guess it's like peacocks, peacocking and stuff like that, right? So, right, so so that that was that section, uh, Area 3, Entertainment, and that was those, uh, those the, uh, the point and the questions of that section. So, that that would, I guess what I'm saying is, then I'm, I'm what, I, what I'm really doing is wrapping up last week's thing, my going for this week. So next week, or or this week, next week, um, we'll be moving on to another thing right here. Now for this one, I I'm, I'm going. Well, there's questions and answers. Oh, there's a lot of questions and answers there. Uh, uh, so let me, yeah, let me just uh, put, uh in this area of politics. Uh, in the area of politics, I got this here. Let me see what I can put. Let me just do it with this one here. I just picked on page uh, 249 of this uh, uh, new revised 2016 revised edition of the uh, Counter Racist Code book. It has this thing, so we'll be dealing with this this week. Put this thing on so I can read it. When people say they are tired of being talked, uh, of, of hearing talk about racism, White, which is white supremacy, talk about producing justice, balance between people. In other words, people say they're tired of hearing this racism, this is racism. How about, then you say, okay, you know, we're talking about racism. How about producing justice? That's what the book is suggesting, right? Here's, oh, here's the explanation. As long as racism exists, any serious talk about producing justice will eventually lead to talk about something related to racism. It is not possible to produce justice without ending racism. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, uh, that explanation there. Next week we'll start. We'll start. With, we'll do the whole thing and do the questions like that. But what he's saying again for next week's thing: when people say they are tired of the, of of hearing talk about racism, which is white supremacy, I'm my fine point is is Anglo, well, Anglo white supremacy. But that's neither here nor there. Some other time we'll talk about that. Uh, talk about producing justice. So if they won't talk about racism, well, let's talk about producing justice, right? Which is the balance between people. And that's what we say, the balance between people. And his explanation, as long as racism exists, 
Any serious talk about producing justice will eventually lead to talk about something related to racism. It's a simple thing. It is not possible to produce justice without ending racism, is what he is saying, Mr. Neely Ford Jr. is saying. Now, this is kind of interesting to me. Um, I have to drink my water. <sighs> water and think. So I'm flushing my brain out too. I got my narrative. I knew my new T on there. Hey, look, that was it. Learn, create. Learn, create, do what? Something. Learn, create. You all read, what does it say? Learn, create, something. Oh, grow. Well, you learn, we grow. So we, 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 I guess with these Sunday sessions, we, we do want to grow. So that's it for this Sunday session. See you next week, I suppose. Um, uh, try If you want the book, um, you can get it by uh, going to uh, www.producejustice.com. That's produce, P-R-O-D-U-C-E, justice, J-U-S-T-I-C-E, dot com. And uh, order your book. Order a book for friends. Send it. I, I, I order books all the time. And then you can get this book. And it's also a word that goes with it, whatever have you. And, of course, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has his regular uh, um podcast you want to call his very regular talk with mr bobby on tuesdays uh i usually pick it up sometime after you know i just take it, download it off the internet and uh actually what i'm starting to do is when i do my morning walk on sundays which is early to say then i listen to the two hours then and then i go on also he has this whole, whole other thing we'll go to produce justin seaboard and other outlets for mr neely fuller jr's uh, work all right all right take care